Anderson Christian School and we have an important message to share with you. Hi, I'm Ava and on behalf of Rolleston Christian School, I would like to tell you, if we don't act fast, we will become predator and festive and lose all our natives. That was disgusting, right? But it was real and it could happen to your house. We need to act fast if we want to change New Zealand. You can do these things easily by joining a predator-free group in your neighbourhood or just setting up tracks. Here at RCS, we're doing big things like growing our own fruit and vegetables. We also have chickens who produce us eggs. past 67 years, we've been doing a lot of fruit gifts, like this mural. But this year, we're working on our natives and how we can help them and putting traps out. This is our school vision map. It was made a long time ago by people who cared about our future. It is filled with our hopes, visions and dreams. This is Kelsey and she's going to explain to us what her group does. We are trying to bring Toy back into the food forest. How are you doing that? Well, we are planting trees and bringing food and home for them. Wow, that's really nice. Hi, I'm here with Paige and she's from our predator free group at Ralston Christian School. Hi guys. Paige, what inspired you to be a predator group predator free group person? Well, Sienna, I wanted to join the trapping group so I could help with Predators for Free in Z by twenty fifty so we can get our beloved um, native birds back into our food forest so that we can and to kill all the pets. Hi, I'm Sienna and I'm interviewing Sophie and Tori because they're from the baking group from Ralston Christian School. Sophie, what inspired you to be a baker? Um, so we're baking so that we can raise money for plants and bird feeders and houses to attract native birds to our community. And Tori, what are you baking? Red velvet cupcakes. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm here with Gustavo and he's going to tell us why he chose the insect group. Uh, I chose the insect group because uh, I thought that because the tree group wanted to attract birds, I thought that better, um, another way to attract birds and stuff was to use insects. That's some good ideas. Making traps is very easy and we can do this New Zealand air to Tangata. The consequences of not making traps can lead to extinction of natives, lack of animals, and sickness. Besides, it would be really sad if we couldn't call ourselves Kiwis anymore. What would we call ourselves? Extinct birds? Exactly! Even if it costs a little bit of money, it's worth it. So act fast and help New Zealand. We know you can do it, and we believe in you, New Zealand! Did you know that I'm only 11? I'm young, and I'm still doing big things. Imagine what you could do! Still New Zealand, let's become predator free. It's your time, New Zealand.